this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom of Living series, the Kingdom of Living Bible Studies, and Bible Study Guides, and the Pocket Guides. And today, I want to share with you about the Kingdom. <laughs> of course, it's my favorite subject, what I, I've been ordained to preach on in these end times, is the Kingdom of God, and I love the Kingdom. And I'm getting so much awesome revelation about the Kingdom right now that my head is just going, doo, 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 tilt, 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 you know, because it's just, it's occupying everything in, in my thought life, and it's just so exciting. I haven't even watched no movies or anything lately because it's been so exciting, and I just keep reading through the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and discovering and actually understanding the parables in a way I never have before, and I'm going to have to do something about that because the parables are just jumping out at me, and showing me the kingdom. So, what I want to share with you today is the fact that we have been taken out of the kingdom of darkness and put into the kingdom of light. And so, everything that you've grown up with, everything that you've been taught is wrong. Everything you've been taught in religion, religion is wrong. Because Satan is the king of this world, the god of this world. He stole it from man. That's man's position. We were created to have authority and dominion. And when he deceived Adam and Eve, they forfeited that over to him. And you can see that in the temptation of Jesus. It was a temptation, and Satan was the one offering it, everything to Jesus because he had what man was supposed to have. So, we were translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Now, the kingdom of darkness is everything that you were taught and raised with, but the kingdom that we are born into as a king is totally different from the kingdom of darkness. Now, Jesus said, well, John said, repent for the kingdom of God. He, he prepared the way for the Lord. And then Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of God is, is near you. It's here. And he did the signs and wonders, and he said the kingdom of God was there. And he also said the kingdom of God is within us. So he demonstrated how a king was supposed to walk on the earth and a king takes authority and dominion over everything on the earth that does not line up with God's will. And Jesus prayed in Matthew, Thy will be done on earth, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And as a king, we are supposed to do that. We are supposed to take dominion. But we have to renew our mind because our mind is so uh, formed, set, relating, understanding, and trained, and brainwashed in the kingdom of darkness and we don't even know it all this time my thinking was in the kingdom of darkness and even preachers I hear them teach like how to get ahead how to do this and it's the world's way it's not the kingdom's way so let me first go back to this if I took you to a Germany let's say and you don't you don't know anything about German I took you to Germany and I just plopped you down. You didn't know anybody. You didn't know anything. You didn't speak German. You didn't have nothing. The first thing you would have to do is see what the laws of the land are. How do you get food? Where do you get money? What does each piece of money represent? How much would it cost to get lodging? Where is a safe place to sleep? How do I pay for a hotel or wherever they sleep? You would have to learn the kingdom laws, the principles, the laws of, okay, this coin is worth 10 cents, 10 cents buys me a loaf of bread, or whatever. If I plopped you down in a foreign land, you would have to learn the principles of that land to survive. Well, we've been taken out of the kingdom of darkness, which is all the teaching and everything that's in this world is the kingdom of darkness. And we've been put into the kingdom of love. So everything that we do and operate in should be from the kingdom of God. And the only way to know about the kingdom of God is to get into the word and one of the key scriptures that will help the door open to revelation and light to come to you about the kingdom and operating in the kingdom is the scripture that says it's been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom and that is my scripture that I've been confessing for years that brought about five seven books so far on the kingdom but I am getting even more deeper revelation about the kingdom and it, it is so exciting because the kingdom is power, is the, the government of God in you. 
to make it on earth like it is in heaven. But the kingdom operates in such an awesome, different way. And I'm going to be teaching that in the next couple of videos. And I kind of I see a book coming on operating in the kingdom. I don't know what it'll be called, but it'll be different from my other books. And uh, involve the supernatural because the kingdom of God is supernatural. And so I just want to share with you, get excited about the kingdom because the kingdom is what the new covenant is about. The new covenant is the kingdom of God in you. It's nothing that you earn. It's all about grace. You don't earn it. You don't do anything for it. You're adopted into the family as a king. You can't get unadopted. You're there permanently once you receive the free gift of this Jesus paying with his blood all the penalty for your sin, all the wrath, all the anger, all the punishment for all your guilt. He paid for it. So now you are in the kingdom. You are a king on this earth. You have dominion over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. And you are adopted and you're not going to be unadopted. So my name is Robin Bremer. Dot net is my website. Check it out. And if you need to lose weight because of these holidays, you need to lose eat less on the holidays, you need to get skinny before the holidays, or you want to get skinny after the holidays so you can fit into your Christmas clothing. Uh, check out freeacesample.com. Ace is spelled A-C-E. It's a dietary supplement. It's actually, it's a um, appetite suppressant and energy uh, supplement. And I sell it, and you can sell it. Three out of four Americans are overweight. And get that weight off of you, even just 10 pounds, you can increase your life. You can get rid of diabetes, high blood pressure, and all the other kind of stuff that goes with it. So check out freeacesample.com. Uh, fill out the form on the right, and I will send you a free sample, which you can tell the difference, 45 minutes after you take it. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.